what is exactly a slope. So slopes belong to lines. Now there's obviously many other slopes as you go on through your mathematical career. You're going to run into all kinds of slope. But starting off, we like to designate slope with the small letter M. So it is just a convenient way of using basically the variable M or the letter M and try to designate slope. Now, what is slope? Well, slope is nothing else but simply the steepness. So steepness, okay, of a line. So how steep is a line? Now, what do we mean by the steepness of a line? Well, so if you take, for example, a line, so I'm going to draw a line right here. Okay, let me try it again. So here's a line that we have. Let's make it a little bit thicker so that we can see it. And this line is heading towards the right hand side. Now, if you take this line, you can increase its steepness. At the moment, it's flat. Okay, it's horizontal, which we mean it is basically flat. So now on this line, if I take it and I start increasing this line, so you notice that now the steepness of how steep it is, okay, is starting to rise. And you can keep increasing this as much as you like, all the way basically to the vertical position. And then you can continue on in the other direction, but then that would change what happens to that line. So from a horizontal point of view, you have a flat line which has a slope of zero, and then the steepness just keeps increasing, so the slope is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, until eventually, if it's vertical, okay, then the slope okay, is undefined. So we call a slope of a horizontal, okay, sorry, of a vertical line, basically undefined. Now you can also take this line and you can go in reverse. So from flat, okay, we can take the line and then move it in this direction. So when you start moving the line in this direction, so the steepness basically starts to go in the opposite direction. And when the line goes kind of, or is falling instead of rising, so when it is falling, we have a slope that is negative. And when it is rising, when we, it is rising in this direction, then we have a slope which is positive. So that's what we have within these lines. So again, flat slope of zero. Okay, if it's rising, then it has a positive slope. If it's vertical, it's called undefined. And if the line is falling in this opposite direction, then we say that it has a negative slope. So now these particular slopes that we have can be calculated and let me take for instance two points here. So I'm gonna put a point on this line. So this is one point right here. And let's say we have another point which is right here. So you can take any two points on the line and you can check for the distance that a line particularly runs for. So for instance, if I take this Okay, and I move it in this direction. Okay, so this would be considered the run, okay, which is the horizontal movement of that line. And then this right here, if I go upwards, is called the rise. So if I write that in here, so this is called the run, and this is called the rise. And you often see this on slopes because a line basically is made up of its horizontal and its vertical component. So that's what we would have. So we have a run and a rise. And by definition, we say that the slope is equal to the rise divided by the run. And that would give us a number okay, of what the slope would be. So in this particular instance, if I take this, so what you have, and let me blow it up, we can count, so here for the rise, so notice that we are rising one, two, three, four. So we're rising four spots which are going upwards and we are running for one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we are running for seven in this direction. Okay, so that slope, for instance, in here would have been rise, which is four, run, which is seven. And now it's positive because it is going in the positive direction. Now we could make the line, okay, fall. So we would have, so if I take this line, let me copy it, okay, and then I'm gonna bring it down. So here, let's take this line, and now let's shift it, but now we're gonna make it fall. So if it's now falling in this direction, if you are now looking at the, let's say, the, the points themselves, now this is the same line as we had above, so let me fix this, okay, so let's take it, okay, let's fix it here, and now let's blow it up a little bit, and now let's take and do the rise and the run. So for instance, if I take two points, so let me whoop, take a point right here, okay, and then let me take another point right here, so those are the two points that I would have on this line, and now let's do the rise and run. Now notice it is falling. So your rise basically is now falling. So that would be all the way up to here. And then it is running, okay, and that would be up to here. So now in this situation, what we have is that our rise, okay, really is a fall. Right, so this really it is falling because it's coming down, okay, in this direction. That's what is happening to ours. So in this case, we are falling one, two, three, four spots. So we have fallen for four spots, and now we are running for one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so our slope, which is rise, so in this case, okay, it's a fall of negative four over okay the run which we said was six so if we simplify this this would have been two over three and it is negative because okay our slope is falling down so we can do that with these slopes now let's take a look so i have prepared here a few examples of basically four different lines and now we can very quickly tell what the lines actually are in terms of are they positive okay in terms of a slope or is it a negative slope is it a zero slope or is it undefined so if you take the line which is designated with the a notice that the line is rising right so that slope would be positive the green line which is designated with the b it is actually falling so that would have a slope which is negative C, the red one, which has a flat slope, that would have a slope of zero because it, there is no steepness at all. And then the vertical one is undefined, okay? So it doesn't have a slope at all because it is a vertical line. So we call it undefined. Now, what if we wanted to take this and calculate the slope from two points directly? So in the previous example, what we were doing is we were just counting how much it was rising and how much it was running for. And we could tell if it's positive or negative. But now if we take one of these lines and we try to actually take the line itself and take two points from it, then how do we calculate the actual slope? So it turns out by definition, so as we have our slope, which is the rise, okay, over the run, this is the same thing, okay, as taking two points, the rise, which is in the vertical coordinate system, so the y, so how far is it rising up and down, so that is in your y direction, so this would be from the two points, so for instance, point number two minus point number one in terms of its vertical, Okay, rise in the y direction. And then your run is nothing else but simply taking your horizontal. So from the two points, so you would have x2, which is the x coordinate of the second point, minus x1, which is the point, okay, from 
the first one. So let's illustrate this by taking this particular example here and then copying it down on just below. So let's paste it. Okay, let's shift it up a little bit. So we have that. And let me now remove, for instance, so since I did this slope definition in green, I'll keep the green line here. And now I can take two points, and now these points do not matter. It can be any points. Now you would always typically want to take convenient points for yourself. So what I will do is, for instance, I'm gonna take the point which kind of goes through that Y axis there, and then I have another point, okay, which goes through the X axis. And I can call this, for example, my point number one, so this would be my point number one, and it has, in this, in this instance, it has an X coordinate and a Y coordinate. The X coordinate is zero, the Y is four, right? Because that's where the point is located. The other point, which is point number two, what we have is my X is six, okay? In this case, my Y is zero. So this, these are my two points. And now if you wanted to calculate the slope, so from what we had before, so y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, okay? And what we have here is in this case, so y2, so that's from point number two, so this would be zero minus from point number one, my y was four, so that's what I have there, divided by my run, so that would be six, so that's from right there, from the x value, minus my first one, which was zero. And you notice that you get negative four over six. And you can simplify that to, to two over three. Notice it is negative right here, and as you can tell, the actual line is falling, so it should have a negative slope. So that's how you would calculate slopes. And you can do that to any single line that you like. All right, so that's all that I'm gonna say for slopes in this video. I hope that you found this useful and you have a little bit of a better understanding that slopes are just simply the steepness of a line. We can calculate them from two points or by simply counting our rise and our run, depending on how they go. Thanks for watching. See you in a future video. Bye.